Welcome back to the Theme Park Wizard. And in today's video, I was going to actually mention this when I went back to uh, Six Flags, which will be back uh, this week, especially because there's some progress on Wonder Woman. So I definitely want to go check that out, Um, that whole area over there. But something that they were testing well, la late last year during the holidays and have officially launched is their own lightning, lightning lane service, which I believe they're calling calling it Flash Pass Plus, or just Flash Pass, but this is just like, well, it is Lightning Lane, basically. You can have you know, the Flash Pass service, which is an additional fee, which you can use it on every single attraction, or you can just pay a few dollars, like I think between seven, or like five and twenty dollars, uh, depending on the attraction and day, uh, and just per ride, pay per ride, and uh, use the Flash Pass just for that single attraction. Right now, so this is only being offered on four rides. The four rides are Full Throttle. Let's see, where is it? I think it's full. Yeah, so fla Flash Pass single ride prices range from 5 to $20 per person to vary per ride or per day. Twisted Colossus, West Coast Racers. Um... We're priced at twelve dollars um, per person. This is today on a holiday. A weekend is very busy today. And then um, full throttle and Goliath costs fourteen dollars per person. Now it's funny because the pricing is actually cheaper and more expensive than Disney, meaning the range is more cheaper and more expensive. So Disney is seven to twenty dollars. This is five to twenty-five dollars per person. Again, depending on the ride and day, it's twelve dollars to get on West Coast Racers and Twisted Glasses, and fourteen dollars again to get on Fourth Throttle and Goliath. It's funny because West Coast Racers is the newest roller coaster at the park, and that was cheaper than a Fourth Throttle and Goliath, which is interesting. But yeah, so yeah, full uh, Twisted Glasses, West Coast Racers, Fourth Throttle, and Goliath are these four coasters again. Last year, I know they're testing it on just Twisted Colossus and maybe something else as well. But I I did see the sign of Twisted Colossus when I was doing my last update there a couple months ago. I'm um, now it's officially launched with four coasters. But again, there's 20 or 19, soon to be 20 coasters. I would expect this, especially if it's successful, to expand to more coasters. Where there's Revenge, Tatsu is a very popular one. I definitely expect Tatsu to get this as well and probably range towards that $25 range because uh, that is a very popular attraction. Um, but yeah, I expect this to go to more coasters if this is popular. And it's, again, Disney leading the way again because um, Six Flags, or anything park didn't have this at all. Um, they just had the regular pay the flash pass which is the pay they've they have had the paid fast pass ever since it's you know it's inception uh six flags universal those parks as well i wonder one if they will they would expand uh they'll expand this to more coasters when they'll expand it to more coasters and i wonder if other parks will do that well as well Will Universal launch something like this? SeaWorld? Nosbury Farm? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about Six Flash launching their own uh, Lightning Lane, Lightning Lane type of thing. Um, this is officially called Flash Pass Skip the Line single ride option, I guess. Um, and it's uh, also important to note is selected on. It's available on select days, so it's not even all the time, which is very interesting. It's just on select days. Um, I think maybe that's because it's still in the testing phase. Maybe it will be um, offered everywhere on all the time later on, but I don't know if that's going to be permanent or not, but right now it's offered on select days, and it's 5 to $25 per person just on those four attractions. I definitely think this will expand. This, I believe, no, unlike Disney World, it was free before. And the Flash Pass can, I think, go upwards of $80 if you want that, um, which is expensive. So this is fantastic for Six Flags. 
Because if you don't want to spend eighty dollars for a flash pass to everything, but West Coast Fixers or Twisted Classes, Twisted Classes has um, been rated a long, long time as the best rated, uh, best one of the best roller coasters, if not the best coaster in California. It's very popular. So let's say if you really want to get on Twisted Classes, but there's a two hour wait, especially with Six Flags, is very inefficient, slow loading times. I definitely pay not five or even twenty five dollars um and skip a two hour line to get on Twisted Classes if it's my favorite roller coaster there and then just wait in line for everything else, you know. Especially if it's only like today is twelve dollars and it's a hot busy holiday weekend. It was raining, so I'm not sure how busy it was, but you know, I definitely, definitely go ahead and pay that because again, much it beats paying eighty dollars for uh, West Coast Racers and again, Universal, something like Harry Potter Forbidden Journey, or just a four hour wait, or Jurassic World, or Mummy. Oh, I'd pay five to twenty-five dollars for those attractions because it. <clears throat> well, I mean, I have Express Pass on the Platinum Pass, but if you're a regular person, the best uh, it beats spending one hundred and thirty dollars, an extra one hundred thirty dollars on top of your one hundred thirty dollars ticket. For an express pass, that's a lot. That is the most expensive um, fast pass type option at any theme park. Um, it is a la carte though, but I mean, if they have the Universal makes its own express lane or express, I don't know what they call it, an express single option, then I would, I'd certainly, um, if I didn't have a pass, pay just one time on busy days for Revenge of the Mummy and stuff like that. So I wonder if other parks will lose. They definitely should. What do you guys think about this? Um, let me know in the comments below. Um, you should, um, if you like this video, press that thumbs up button. Subscribe for more theme park updates. And as always, have a fantastic day.